They had fervor. He had faithfulness. He wouldn't be caught up in the crowd's fervor. Now, he doesn't hesitate to accept their royal greeting, their, their praise and their recognition of him as the Messiah, as the king. You notice that. So those of you sitting here this morning that say, ah, I like Jesus, but I don't think he ever saw himself as more than a teacher. He was a good moral teacher. That's how he saw himself. Listen, they are ascribing praise to him. And he doesn't turn it away. He doesn't dismiss it. He embraces it. And he rides in as the king into his city. The crowd, they're ramped up. Their fervor is great. Jesus' royal response is he receives the praise, but he grabs a donkey. He grabs a donkey. If a king is riding into his city as the victor and the conqueror and the deliverer, you expect him to ride in on a war horse. Solomon had 46,000 stalls of war horses. That's a king. Jesus just kind of quiets down their expectation. He grabs a donkey. And by doing so, he gives a very clear picture of the nature of his kingship. It's different than the crowd's expectation, their desire, their longing. Make no mistake, Christ will not conform to our expectations of what he should be. He does not take polls. He does not do focus groups. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You can't mold Christ. You can't create a Christ of your own making. He is who he is. And he'll be who he shall be. I am who I am. There are many who miss Christ because they have wrong expectations. There are many more who miss Christ because they want him different than he is. 